Hello, what's up, people? I'm Attila the Great. And I'm Graphics Rogue of the Rogue Empire. What up? Yo, what up, man? Missed you. Missed you, too. I love you so much. Yeah, I mean, love you a long time. I love what you do on the channels, and I love how your body looks. So what oh. are we doing today? <laughs> what game are we playing? We're doing two-player campaign. Co-op campaign. Finally. Finally. I'm not gonna... Jeez. We, <laughs> no, had, mention, a, we mention, had some trouble. Mention, mention that. Come on. Let yeah, them hear. We... I don't know how long, it's been maybe an hour and a half of mm. just trying to get a co-op campaign to work with each other with mods not yeah. working, with we weren't mm. able to play as the AI and Caesar and Gaul. We were trying to play Caesar and Gaul in the beginning, yeah. but then we were like, fuck it, let's just try Hannibal <laughs> the Gates. But we think it's finally working to a point we want it to work. Mm. So this is take three? Take three? Two, yeah, three or four, this. yeah. Tree, 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 or but, tree, maybe. But you weavers out there, you gotta know we do this for you, because we love you so much. We love you long time. Yeah, uh, long time. So we are doing what is it? Hard difficulty? Yes, hard difficulty. Although that's just for us when we face the AI. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure the stats are normal when we face each other. Maybe you should turn time to three minutes. Yeah. Yeah, three minutes sounds fair enough. Because it doesn't really. Because we'll probably be done in like two minutes. Unit size, ultra, show yes. AI player, no thank you. No thank you. Play, <laughs> play battle. I am Hannibal Barca and you are... Scipio. Alright. We will start the battle. Let's start the battle and... Now I gotta be quiet and check out the intro. <laughs> Fucking love this intro though. Very good. How I do love this picture of Mark Anthony and Cleopatra. He's like hugging her like, I love you, baby. Oh, that's a great picture. <laughs> oh, I love it. I, I'm looking at the Augusta picture. Mm. Intro's not as good as the Caesar intro, though. I don't no, think I it like, is. No, I like this more. I like what he, uh, Caesar says, like, The nights are long and the wolf grows hungry. <laughs> I, that is so epic. And here it goes. Hannibal, my son. Stand before the gods and swear. From this day until your last. That you will always be an enemy of Rome. Roman dignitaries are entering Carthage. What do they want? You insult Rome! You have violated the treaty that binds you! I will remind you, the last time Carthage resisted Rome, your fathers were buried in the fields of Sicily! <laughs> Fucking epic intro. I choose war. Open arms. We sent to serve them. Love it. In the waters of the Agatis. Gives me chills. The Mediterranean is undoubtedly ours, not yours. Not yours. You gifted us whatever scraps of it you held when you and your mercenaries scurried back to your barbaric fishing village. And I. I'm sent here to ask you to decide between peace and open conflict as if you truly have a choice. I choose war. Yeah. You know what? I think this uh, intro is better than the Caesar and Gaul one. Yeah, I told you, man. Overall. This is way better. But I do love that line. The nights grow long and the, and the wolf is hungry. <laughs> that is such a great line, but overall, yeah, it is but better. This one like gives you the chills, man. Like honestly. So who is okay? It's me apparently. Yes. Commander. Right. Um, 
quarter seems to be all good here. Okay. Gonna start working on some water sluicing. Mm. Get them get an aqueduct ready. Aqueduct. Alright, looking good. Can you build now or I can I cannot build actually. Mm. No, but I can look at what things I want to do, I guess. Right. I can I can set the technology. Okay. Uh, j -j -j -j. okay we got that, that's nice. I can set edicts. Yes. Mm. Alright, so let's uh, tell the people what mods we're using. We are using the Radius Overhaul mod. And uh, the... Uh, Sell Your Slaves. Sell Your Slaves mod, yes. Right. Had a lot of trouble. We were going to use more mods, but... We had a I'm lot of trouble uh, getting them worked. Yeah. Getting them compatible. Maybe they weren't updated, but it said, a lot of them said they were. Hmm. Don't know. I don't know. But uh, at least we got the um, Sell Your Slaves and this one. Yeah. Radius. So that's all fine. All fine and dandy. They're very good. Very good mods. It makes Sell Your Slaves makes uh, taking mm. slaves worthwhile. Because before, it was just not worth it, because it just made people too unhappy. Yeah. Kind of confused here, what should I make? Yeah, I'm gonna go do this one. And my money is getting drained here. Are you, going, are you going to take the uh, traditional route and go over the Alps, or are you just gonna be a pussy and do it the <laughs> easy way? <laughs> no, I'm gonna take the tradition. We gotta do the historical accurate here, okay? Alright. And we don't do warfare now. We do um, hmm. non-aggression pact. Non-aggression pact first. And what then um what um Rome and Carthage had? They had um a thing, a pact where Rome hmm. controlled everything above this river here. Yeah. Uh, I forget what the river is called. It's, it's a river in North Spain. Rome's Rome's uh business was up there, and Carthage hmm. business was south of the river, and. Uh, Carthage knew this. They kept south of the river, but Rome mm. wanted war, so Rome was antagonizing Carthage, and they uh, said that Saguntum was a Roman ally, and that got them into war. Really? So, yeah, it wasn't... Rome started the war because they wanted uh, more of Iberia, because Carthage wasn't breaking the treaty and going north of the river. It is true, what you say. And Rome decided they wanted to make themselves an ally of Saguntum, while mm -hmm. uh, while Hannibal was marching on Saguntum, and he That's said, correct. "And he said, you stop, stop attacking our allies." Yeah. And then war started. Basically, they made the excuse for mm -hmm. war. They both wanted war. They both wanted their own excuses. Sure. Pretty much. Sure. But I think Rome wanted more, and then they gave it the opportunity to Hannibal to, mm -hmm. you know, shine to his people like I am your savior, and I will deal yeah. with this. Mm -hmm. So the senators of Carthage like, okay, man, you know, your father was a great warrior, we believe in you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, it's, I think some of the senators didn't really like him. They didn't like yeah, how obviously. much fame he was getting. I mean, it's like Caesar, right? Yeah. There weren't so many who liked Caesar as well, but still. Yeah, if Hannibal had won, he would be, he would be the Caesar of ancient Carthage. Oh, yeah. I bet he would have went and tried to conquer Carthage himself. If he had uh, beaten Perhaps. Rome. Perhaps. Okay, what are we gonna do? I got the Legio Herculei. But still, the idea to cross the Alps. How yeah. cool was that? I mean. It was cool, but I'm considering. Expected. Considering how powerful Hannibal was and how many times he won, why mm. didn't he just go the easy route and defeat all the Roman armies in his way? It's like asking the question about Hitler when he was so close to Moscow and then he turned his attention yeah. to St Stalingrad. Why? Yeah. You know, it, it is a... When person feels like he is gaining so much victory, he gets really cocky. Yeah. He thinks he's unbeatable and that's what it made him, you know, the, the mistake, right? I don't know, this was before the war. Maybe he thought he wasn't unbeatable at that point and he, maybe he thought he couldn't beat those armies. And that's why he went around. 
he did he, maybe he didn't know how good he really but was the plan the plan was to obviously uh make a surprise attack right? yeah and also circumvent all the roman armies along the mm. coast of uh yeah. massalia and all that i mean he gathered a lot of uh mercenaries from from the Gallic tribes right mm. so they happily joined him because they were also enemy of rome so to think about it he maybe you know considered getting more armies to his you know more men to his armies mm -hmm. but uh it is true what you say also why he didn't take it the easy way just go through sicily and then well i was talking about the uh, the northern coast of massalia mm. up to genua because that's what uh, some of his uh generals were asked were telling him he should do yeah but i mean you gotta take sicily first to yeah cross. yeah that I mean, is but then again, Hannibal wasn't anywhere near that. He, his domain was in Hispania. Yeah, Iberia. So he was planning on marching over Hispania, over Gaul yeah. and all that. Yeah. But uh, he maybe lost, he couldn't. Uh, he couldn't easily just go to Sicily and take but, it. But the, those, uh, the crossing of the Alps, uh, you know, he lost lots of men, plus lots of elephants. When the time when he reached the Italian peninsula, he had only like few elephants left. All of them were, they died. Yeah. You know, they all died except for a few though. Mm -hmm. And then of course he lost so many men of the attrition, like the cold and all that. Yeah. So, he's kind of bold and he's kind of stupid as well. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like in a sense, you have sacrificed so many men to what? Yeah, he sure, he sure did a lot of victories, but still. Yeah, that's why I say if he it, maybe he would have won more victories if he kept those men and just yeah. uh, marched down the coast and just defeated mm. all the Roman armies he came in contact contact with. Yeah. Oh boy. The Venetia. Oh, look at the boy eye. The color has changed. Okay, someone wants to make peace. Oh boy. Oh, I had no idea I was at war with uh, Emporion. Are the Emporion is my client state? I think they are. Okay. So they want peace with me, that's fine, and I'm gonna ask for money. Oh shit. Give me 3000, bitch. Oh shit. Oh. They reject it. Oh well. <laughs> Too bad. Okay, so now I got trouble on my northern borders. These gulls. I got 1,800 for uh, dinars from uh, Massilia for peace treaty, so that's fine. Mm. <laughs> now I'm gonna see if I can make another peace with Emperor the Massalian cowards. <laughs> Let me see now, let me see now. Yeah, babe, come on, make peace with me. Yeah, what do you think about the color changes from the new Emperor edition? Like, Rome it is, is definitely confusing. different a little bit. It is confusing. Yeah, the Hannibal, the Carthage colors are a little different, the Rome colors are a little different. A lot of it is a lot of washed out colors. Like, they're not as bright as they were. Everything has been kind of washed out. The lighting on the battlefield is kind of cool, but, you know, it's darker. It's like, it's not daylight anymore. Everything looks like it's always just about to be nighttime. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm seeing just uh, the wrong maps, and there are some maps where things look a little brighter. Maybe I'm just used to how it was for so long. Yeah, the same goes for me. I'm, I'm really used to the old. So that's why it's going to take some time to adapt, but we will adapt eventually, within yeah. time. Just I do like them. Well, I do like some of it, but I'm just not used to it. Yeah, I'm not hating it, I mean. Uh, I do like the Pontus colors. I don't like... I like that they're not yellow anymore. Mm. No, I used to like yellow. I don't know why. Mm. Eh, you know. Fuck me, man. I got a lot of good money for making peace treaties with your... Are there their vessels? Or... 
client states. Client states, okay. Client states are garbage. I wish they were set traps. I wish yeah. all vassals worked the same because client states, all they do is give, all they do is make trouble. Yeah. You want real vassals that do whatever you say. Yeah, that would be sweet. Like uh, the Persian, like the Parthians do in the <clears> east. <throat> Eastern factions have real vassals. They do, yeah. Yeah, they. Uh, you go to war, they go to war, they do whatever you tell them to do. Oh, that's cool, man. Client states, it's basically a defensive alliance, that's what a client state is, but they give you money, also. And it counts towards your uh, victory goals. Their lands count as your lands. Hmm. Well, I think everything's pretty cool in southern Italy right now. Uh -huh. I don't think uh, the Samnites are going to give me any more trouble. Ever since our fr our friend from the from the tutorial campaign defeated them. Yeah. Mark Strong. You played the tutorial campaign, didn't you? No. Oh, uh, there was a tutorial campaign where Mark. I forget what is Salanus, Salanus, something like that. Mark Strong voiced the uh, general, and he was. Conquering uh, uh, Italy from the Sam Knights. Okay, uh, I didn't play that. They, they had some good videos too. Good intro videos, good outro videos. Okay. Gotta try that soon. Maybe, maybe you should do a LP on that. Just a short LP on that. That wouldn't last long. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. Oh shit, man! Time is running out. Damn. Yeah. Faster. Oh, what uh, should I do? Faster, faster, faster! I don't know what to do. I get so confused when I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> I get stressed. Don't it's worry like... about it. Oh, this one is good. Uh, at least I managed to do something here. Damn, uh, damnable Syracusians. Uh, my time is up. Shit. So we should probably do five minutes. <laughs> yeah, probably. Damn it. So now it's your turn for three oh. minutes. Oh, no, look at all that piece. Maybe it's a good thing. It's like a challenging. It's really a good challenge. Yeah, it's good. So you can't just sit there like act retarded. You gotta be fast. You and look yeah. Yeah. I am sorry. Okay, we're gonna make a I trade. Only the scorn of no, the I guess gods and my people if I agree to your proposal. Do you wish to live in this period? Live in this period? Yeah. You serve your I don't know, it depends on how, what I was born. Was I born a noble? Was I born a <laughs> peasant getting stepped on by the nobles? Yeah. It's pretty but, uh, pretty great when you're when you're noble. Yeah, you, can, you can do whatever you want. But they too also lost a lot. Yes. They what? If they were uh, they could they also lose a lot if they were unlucky. Yeah. You know, like other families, like um. They used to have these beefs, right? Alright. Back. Yeah, interruptions. Interruptions. So, so yeah, it's, 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 it's good like, for glory. It's yeah. good uh, era to, if you want to be glorious. Yeah. But you could die pretty easily from diseases. Obviously. Diseases or other family who don't, don't like you. They could spread really bad rumors. They could sabotage. They could do a lot of bad things, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that there was uh, risks, especially Roman period, man. They like totally fucked each other up. Yeah. <laughs> so you had to be you had to be on the winning side, otherwise you could lose so much. Yeah, get your head head cut off and paraded all over. That's what Rome did sometimes. It for enemies, they would cut the head off their enemies and parade it all over the empire. Yeah, like different provinces yeah to just let people know that you can't screw with us yeah if you do this will happen to you like good example put a good example to people <laughs> let them know the truth of things yeah okay I'm gonna make a full army ah I don't have any I can't recruit triarii but I would really like to leave in the 1500s. 
that period of time. The 1500s, why? Oh, What's the in glorious, the 1500s? The glorious Ottoman Empire, bro. Oh yeah, glorious, glorious. Oh yeah. The, you know, there's no AIDS, there's no cancer. Well, there's plenty of that, they just don't know it exists. <laughs> hey, 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 what is that <laughs> crap growing on your dick? Eh, it's the flu. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. They, they just don't know any- they don't know any better. I'm sure they had medicines for that too. Oh, time periods. Oh no. I don't- Oh man, not enough time. <laughs> yes, I told you, man. It's fucking stressing this. Oh, Some what happened? Thinking about other stuff. Uh... Well, are you attacking? No, oh, I'm- no, my client's state is getting attacked. Oh. Okay, I gotta... I gotta join them. I gotta join them, help them out. Oh, no! Wait, we didn't even do trading, you and me. Why is that? What? You, oh, you no, some we forgot. some attack on me? No, no, I forgot. I guess we forgot. Oh, no, this isn't good. Mm. But we will play it. What do you mean? It's not, it's not good. Are you attacking? I'm being attacked. Are you being attacked? The savage barbarians are attacking me. Oh, I'm gonna reap you now. No, uh, not good. Mm -hmm. They have noble horses too. Oh man, this is gonna be sweet. I guess they had an agent who um, poisoned my garrison. Cause I'm... Yeah, look at your... Uh, oh man. Yeah, they must have poisoned my garrison. Oh yeah, they did a really do good job. Where is this, by the way? Pisa? Is that like... Pisa is northern Italy. Right. You never been to Europe? No. Why is oh. that? I'm not rich. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> not, <laughs> not, not like you. Uh, That's like you gotta have millions of dollars to travel the world. <laughs> Trillions of dollars. But I see many, uh, like, young kids from the States. Yeah, young uh, rich kids. No, I wouldn't say they're rich, because they're like uh, buying really cheap beer and then, yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm sure you don't have to be rich to visit Europe, but I haven't been able to. I re would really love to. There's a whole bunch of different places in Europe I want to, especially since I got so into the Total War series. The Total War mm. series is what got me so into uh, ancient history. history. Okay. Yeah. No, I, would I, love, back. I would love to visit Rome and, and be, yeah. Constantinople and all these crazy places. It's called Istanbul, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Istanbul, bitch. <laughs> when a Turkish person hears somebody saying, hey, Oh man, I would love to visit Constantinople. Constantinople. The Turkish person's like, oh, Fuck you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> stop, stop calling it that. <laughs> nah. I wonder uh, when they stopped calling it Constantinople, because I'm sure they didn't change it immediately. 1923. Was it that uh, late? Yeah, 1923, the world has accepted it is Istanbul and not Constantinople. That's weird. I thought it was like. No, I, mean, of, I thought it was earlier. No, no, Fatih Sultan Mehmet did change uh, from Constantinople to Constantinia and then from Constantinia to Istanbul. Uh, but you know, you know how the white people are like. Yeah. No, we will not accept that. Oh no! Constantinople did not die. It is still Constantinople. Shut the fuck up, bitch. But still, anyways, they still kept there. It hasn't yeah, been burned they, out. They like step. They kept uh, call, calling Constantinople while the other people called it Istanbul until after First World War, and yeah. then 1923 they're like, okay, let's call it Istanbul. 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 They, they still call Rome Rome. So why yeah. not call it Constantinople? I mean, I or, or Byzantium. I like Byzantium better, actually. Mm. That's a cool name. It sounds cool to me. Yeah, hey, it is a cool name. Constantinople is just because Constantine was like, Oh, today. fuck the city. I'll call it Constantinople. <laughs> if people wish to call it Constantinople, I don't care. I don't know. Sure Whatever. Yeah, exactly. I like Istanbul too. It sounds cool. <laughs> Actually, they say it is a Greek name too. Istanbulus, something like yeah. that. I don't know if they make it up or just, you know, to piss off the Turks. I don't know. 
I wonder what um, Alexandra was called in the in the beginning. Mm, they say Iskander and Alexander. No, before it, before Alexander came and conquered it, and he he named it in his own image. So I'm guessing it was called something else. No, but the Eastern people used to call him Iskander. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah they did. I heard that. I saw yeah. that before. Ready for orders. So uh... break them, my hounds. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he had a problem with that. Call him Iskander. I don't know. No, I'll, no, I was talking about the city of Alexandria. Alexandria, right, right. Yeah, I don't know what uh, what they called it before he came and renamed it. Oh, I forgot. I had it in my head, but Ugh. totally forgot. I would love to visit that place too. I've been to Egypt, but not to Alexandria, unfortunately. Yeah. I've been to much better city though. Cairo and, and yeah, Cairo and and, and uh, what was it called again? Oh shit! It was in my head. I forgot. Luxor, Luxor, Luxos, Luxor, something like that. Luxor, Luxor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luxor, yeah. Luxor. It is a really big, old, ancient city. It's much. Oh older. yeah, that that's the place with the mummy stuff and all that, right? Everything, everything. Uh, you know the uh, Prophet Moses? Yeah. Yeah. This is city. Oh, is it? Yeah. Great kingdom, like a uh, real, good. really great kingdom. Okay. Man, you should um, you should check my Facebook. I got some pictures there. Like I oh, yeah? post, yeah, I post every day. Like uh, historical places which I've been to. You you would love it. Oh yeah, I gotta see that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh come on, study. <laughs> So many of them. So you've been to Cairo. Have you been to the Cairo Museum? Yeah, yeah. Oof, so oh, beautiful. I want to go there. Yeah, you would love it. I've See, been to Rome. I, I love that the Cairo Museum has the actual pharaohs. I mean, yeah. their bodies of those e ancient rulers. Exactly. I even saw the body oh, of uh, him. Uh, Nam what was it called? Ramses? Yeah. The guy who fucked with uh, Moses. Yeah, well, we don't. He, we he don't. Yeah, we don't have uh, Caesar's body or even Alexander's body, but we have these guys' body. That's so cool. Yeah, exactly. I mean. Uh, I think uh, the heat very well. Um, yeah, the heat like, preserves them. Yeah, they, they hidden them very well, uh, the bodies of Caesar and Alexander. I think Ptolemy, Ptolemy, he stole the body of Alexander. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And it stayed in Alexandria for a long time until yeah. someone just lost it. I think that's how he um, had the opportunity to claim Alexander for himself. Yeah. Like, I got the body of Alexander, I am the new pharaoh, so people are like, okay. Another crazy Greek coming in here. Yeah. <laughs> so like, whatever. Whatever, bro. <laughs> whatever, bro. That period of time, Egypt was very weak. Yeah, they were never, uh, ever since the fall of the pharaohs, ever since yeah. uh, per the Persian Empire came, yeah, exactly. Egypt uh, was pretty, pretty much weak. Even before the Persian Empire, the Assyrians also made a lot of impact. Yeah. You know the Assyrian Empire? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Assyrians were... Um, brutal warriors, man. Yeah. Were they in the Syria area or were they in the Ethiopian area? I Iraq, Mesopotamia. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Oh, you just have too many. <laughs> just too many. Savage barbarians. <laughs> so, as I said, I've been to Rome, Istanbul, Egypt, Budapest, London, Amsterdam, yeah. Copenhagen, Oslo, Helsingfors. Yeah, okay, well, you're, you live right there. You live in uh, 
Sweden, so you can uh, just take a short uh, Germany, plane ride, plane ride to all these places. I've been to Germany, I've been to Prague, Czech, I've been to Macedonia, well, yeah. the Yugoslavian Macedonia. I, I only recently discovered that, uh, like, maybe a couple years ago, that Macedonia still actually exists. It's an actual country, the country of Macedonia. Yeah. I thought that was weird. But the Greeks are not happy about them. Yeah. They're really pissed off. <laughs> why, the, why are they mad at the Macedonians? Sorry? Why are they mad at the Macedonians? Because Macedonians today, uh, the former Yugoslavian Macedonians, they have nothing to do with uh, the Greek Macedonians. Uh. So they uh, kind of steal their uh, the Greek uh, the Alexander name. Greats and the name, the yeah. identity and all that. It's not even the same area, is it? It's like a but little no, bit north of the area. No, it's very close. Like uh, maybe it's like a little north of Alexander is Macedonia. Yeah. Uh, maybe two hours from yeah. Thessaloniki, and yeah. yeah. Man, I raped you. Uh, not good. <laughs> not good. So and also they build a airport called Alexander the Great's airport, which pissed off the Greeks like totally. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, they're like, oh fuck. <laughs> what, do they even uh, speak the Greek language? No, 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 they have their own oh. language. Uh -huh. Yeah, they have their own language and they're more, Sla they're Slavic people, Slavic. Uh -huh. Yeah, Slavic people. And right. They're very weird people though. Uh -huh. Like very unfriendly. Oh, I'd never forget when I was there. Shit, <laughs> so rude. So rude, <laughs> but uh, the Macedonia, it, it was actually more Turks. Uh, mm -hmm. it was so many Turks, like 90, 85 percent easy was only Turks there. Yeah. Until after First World War, then we lost that province, uh, and then Yugoslavia took it, right? Then mm -hmm. Ser Serbia, so they took it to their part, and then they started doing these all kind of nasty things, and then when. Um, the communism mm -hmm. instituted their, their law, the communism. They mm -hmm. started to like uh, force people to change their surnames. Yeah. So imagine I'm called like let's say Rushdu. Mm -hmm. They say Rushdu Ova. Oh. They just put a Ova or Ovic, something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you see kind of surnames like that, and then they force so many bad things that you know a lot of the Turks who live there who've been living there for fucking centuries. Yeah. They said, you know, mo most of them, they just had enough, so they just split. Uh, so now today you will find only maximum 15, 20% left there, Turks. Yeah. And yeah, then, Tur Turks, uh, they had everything up to like h northern Hungary yeah, in man. that area for a long time. Oh, yeah, Hungary, we had it for almost 200 years. Yeah, to the, the Turkish or the Ottoman Empire, they, they were probably the biggest, most. Uh, I mean, they were basically the uh, descendants of the Eastern Roman Empire, pretty much, because they ruled the entire area the Eastern Roman Empire ruled. Mm. Al almost all, because I don't think they did take Southern Italy, because the Eastern Roman Empire did have Southern Italy at one point. Yeah. But they no. ruled all of that, plus more, so... No, we they were rule. just the biggest thing since that. We did rule all entire, like, Hungary, but... Yeah. It took a couple time to take Northern Hungary. Yeah. Like, uh, we took southern Hungary really fast, but the northern was a little bit more difficult, but eventually we took it too, but still. Yeah, yeah, still. But the, uh, timer has gone off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why don't, uh... I don't think I can save it, because I am the host, I think I have to save it. I can save it too. But I can't save it. You can't? No. What is so, that? So, not available during the camera transition. If it's, I can't save it if it's not my turn. Oh, so I gotta end the turn and then you save it? Yeah, yeah, so. Okay. I gotta be the one to ends the turn. Alright, uh, let me see now. I just. Oh, shit. Do stuff. I gotta do my thing first and then you do your yeah. thing. Alright, good. Goody. So yeah, you live in that area. You get to visit all those cool places. Yeah, Hopefully man. I can one day. I've even been to Asia as well. I've been to America mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. 
I like to visit the, some of the places in China too. Yeah. A lot of cool sites in China. Oh yeah, man. China's massive. I've been to Thailand. Mm -hmm. Very nice country. Very nice. Yeah. We love you a long time. Oh yeah. <laughs> I go to Japan, visit all the all the oh. all the golden streets paved with anime. <laughs> oh man, Japan would be sweet. See all the anime girls in their natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. My brother has been to Japan but I have never Alright, I'm done. I'm gonna save. Good. I am ending the turn. It's your... Oh, wait. I gotta do edict. Mm. What do you want? Yeah, edict. Okay, where is the edict? God damn it. How do I do edict? Where is that? Um, on the bottom left. Alright. Oh, where is it? Where is the edict? Come on. The bottom left, do you pick yeah. a, a province? No, 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 I, I know, I know, but I wonder where. Okay, here it is. Slave, sell slaves, yes, I'm going mm -hmm. with that. You see, you see this, on, this army I have in the far north, in the, in the ocean? Uh, the first time I played Hannibal at the... Not the first time, but when I played Rome with Hannibal at the gates, I mm. did not know that army was there for almost mm. the entire game. Really? It was late into the game where I found out that army was even there. Shit. It's just hanging out in the ocean. Destination oh, so dumb. Alright, I'm gonna save it. Alright. Alright, we saved it. Alright, that, that was the first episode of our, uh, whatchamacallit, Hannibal at the Gates co-op LP campaign. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm glad it worked. Yeah, Unlike me Unlike all the million other times we tried <laughs> getting it to work. It wouldn't work. Yeah, can we get please thumbs up, comments, and do favoritize it. Don't forget to subscribe on Graphics Rogue. <laughs> I love when you say favoritize it. <laughs> favoritize it, man. Subscribe yeah. it. So I want to subscribe on Graphics Rogue and I on want, myself. I want too. you to yeah, subscribe <laughs> on Attila the Great. He's he's uh, kind of great. He's kind of great. He's great. Attila the kind of great. He's douche. Yeah, he, he's all right. Oh, it's alright, it's alright. Until, right. until the alright. Alright. Join me up on <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well. Don't forget, people. Yeah, me too, if you, if you feel like it. That'll be cool. Alright. So. So, see yeah. See you guys later on part two. I will see you guys later. I'm Graphics Rogue. Peace. And I'm Matilda Great. Ciao. Yeah.